Sir Arthur Conan Doyle once said, the world is full of obvious things which nobody by any chance ever observes. For example, my first 20 show introductions this series have all been about crime, but nobody's noticed for the simple reason that nobody ever listens to them. And why should they? It's just unnecessary blather to start the show. Whatever I say is drowned out by the voice in your own head shouting, get on with it, Victoria. We're only here for the bit where you mispronounce something, the question editors have made a mistake, and one of the contestants is much taller than I expected. So let's press on towards those highlights and meet on my right. Henrietta Ford, a postgraduate student who once owned 42 pet rabbits. Jennifer Martino, a civil servant whose first words were beautiful coconut in Italian. And their captain, Andrew Fisher, a software process manager who drove his car into a wall on New Year's Day. All former housemates from Sheffield, they are the Steelers. Andrew, what piece of trivia are you proudest of knowing? Uh, the country with the longest name with alternating vowels and consonants is United Arab Emirates. That's a good piece of triv. <laughs> you are playing this evening on my left. William Houston, a Cambridge graduate who became a diplomat after failing to land his dream job at British Airways. Claire Downs, a surveyor who enjoys whittling spoons. And their captain, Jacob Kingsbury Downs, a doctoral student who keeps a vengeful spreadsheet of crossword clues he's failed to solve. All shivering with Saturday night fever, they are the discotheques. Hello again. In your last match, you scored 29 points in a loser-loser game. You had a great uh, missing vowels round. I think it was uh, people and the cats they're associated with. <laughs> uh, do you remember any of the clues from that round? Uh, Hermione Granger and Cruikshanks was certainly one of them. Are you a cat person yourself? I absolutely hate them. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back. <laughs> Steelers, you won the toss, but you've decided to put your opponents in first. So, Discotex, please choose a hieroglyph. We'll start with the twisted facts, please. OK. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. City. Dialects of possibility. Next one, please. Is it like just sections of the city? Yeah. Or they're on islands. Ah, oh, no proposal. So we think that it's the number of islands that make up these uh, cities. There's a specific thing I'd love to hear about the places. Well, I'll take it. The thing you're not telling me is that these are capital cities. Oh, yeah. But you are right that they are on these islands. Okay. Malabo, interestingly, the capital of Equatorial Guinea, the island it's on, Bioko, it's actually about 100 miles from the mainland. Mm. Uh, it's closer to Cameroon. Stockholm, of course, got lots of islands and there are bridges there. And they say the water is so clean you can drink it. I'm not sure I try, but it's a thing that's said. And, of course, your favourite uh, United Arab Emirates appearing there at Clue 1. You must be delighted to see that. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes one can be distracted by all the vowels and consonants yeah. uh, and uh, miss the other facts. So, well done. A point to you. And Steelers, what would you like? Uh, two reads, please. Two reads. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Tricuspid uh, vowels. Are they in the heart or something? I don't know. I think they could be. Like vowels in the heart. Yeah. Uh, next, please. That's their, their like wavy thing. The section of Lombard Street is the um, it's the the twisty turvy. Okay. <laughs> they're they're all that, curvy. I think we should just go the for that to be honest. That's like that's what Lombard Street is really famous for. Yeah. yeah. So these are like twisty tur turvy, <laughs> topsy turvy kind of like twisting sections. I need to hear something specific. Going um, down and. <laughs> like circling around in that kind of shape. That is not it. I like your gamble coming in after two clues, but you haven't got the key thing. So I'm going to show all the clues to the discotheque for a possible bonus point. One way. Okay. Um, you can things flow through them in one direction. It is about going in one direction only. You're oh. right. That section does twist around, but you can only go one way. And looking at the other clues. IKEA stores. Yeah. I mean, you might say that they're mapped out in quite a straight way. Yeah. Uh, and uh, diodes on a circuit, you know, they wouldn't necessarily have to be twisty turny, but they will go one way only. What are tricuspid valves? Are they in, in your veins? 
It, it's in the heart. It's a valve in the heart, and blood passes from the from the right atrium to the right ventricle. So a bonus point to you, Discotex. It's one way only. And what question would you like? We'd like uh, water, please. Water. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. It's a plane. Yeah, plane. Okay, keep going. Next, please. Murdered by Jean Grey. Oh, is that in um, uh, X Men? Something like X Men. Next, please. Replaced by a hawk. That was the. That's the tennis thing that spots the ball, isn't it? Um, oh. How was it? A cyclops. Yes. Was it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cyclops is the connection. Very well done. Let's have a look at all the clues. What can you tell me about the others? So, Jean Grey uh, was in X-Men and presumably killed the X-Man Cyclops. That's right. And Jean Grey is, of course... Phoenix. Phoenix. Killed at Cyclops Scott Summers. Um, Hawkeye, I'm told, is um, the, the thing in, in tennis that zooms in to tell whether or not something's... Uh, out. Out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> not, not big on tennis. I'm not big on sport, Victoria. Oh, you see. Yeah. Okay, sport and cats uh, yeah. are the ones we're ruling out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Blinded by Odysseus, of course, that's Polyphemus, is, is, is the Cyclops there. Mm -hmm. And disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle. Do you know about that? I'm not sure on that one. That was a, a US Navy ship, an enormous oh. ship, the Cyclops, and just disappeared in there. Back to you, Steelers, for a choice. Uh, lion, please. Lion. These are going to be picture clues. What connects them? Here's the first. Oh, that's the line of which I'm born. Yes. I think it's one of the gnarly yeah, ones. That, that's the um, yeah. Next, please. Uh, that's... Um, the Guardians of the Galaxy. It is, yeah. yeah. What have we got? Oh, are they all Guardians? Like, don't they, um... They have some, they, um, oh, Guardian they're Angels? They're just yeah. Guardians. And, uh, should we go for one more? Yeah, I think let's go for uh, one Next, more. please. That's... Is that me on the body or something? I don't know what I don't it know. is. Next, please. I recognise that, but I've got no idea what I think. I'm just going to have to go to Guardians, yeah. but I don't think we know yeah. anybody. We're going to say Guardians. I'm afraid that's no. not the answer. Another bonus chance for you, Discotex? The number five. And why would that be? I, I wondered if it's fifth element in the fourth clue. Um, no. Uh, uh, no. What else did you recognise? Obviously, the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe is the first clue. Mm -hmm. um, you knew the second one? Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah. Are oh, they all chocolate bars? Yeah, that was a good bit of subliminal messaging there. <laughs> it's Mars Attacks in the last picture. And the third one, no, Mutiny, Mutiny on, on the, the Bounty. bounty. Yeah. All chocolate bars in Ooh. film titles. Oh, okay. Unlucky. <laughs> Your own question now, uh, Discotex, what would you like? We'll have the Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. Oh, it's a music question. Sorry. What connects these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. It laughs, it sings, the world is in rhyme, swinging to three quarter time. Okay, there must be things in like play parts. Next, please. <laughs> this is iconic. Yeah. <laughs> Next, please. Well, I'm gonna write a little letter, I'm gonna mail it to my local DJ. Yeah, this is a jump. Are they things in playgrounds? Ooh. <laughs> no, I, I'm not sure any of them are things in playgrounds. <laughs> uh, Steelers, your chance for a bonus point now. Are they all named after composers? They are all named after composers. Oh, yeah. Very well done. What did we hear? Um, the second one is by Strauss, mm -hmm. and the third one, I think it's called... It's something Mozart. It's by Clean Bandit, but... It, Clean Bandit, remember. Mozart's house, yeah. Yeah. Oh. But I didn't actually hear the last one because I was talking. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first one was uh, Handel in the Strand, oh. and uh, the last one, Roll Over Beethoven. Oh, of course. All yeah. named after composers. I'm glad you recognised by Strauss. Uh, who's that by? Irving Berlin or it, Gershwin? It, it, it's uh, Gershwin. It's George and I are Gershwin. It's got great lyrics. How yeah. can I be civil while hearing this drivel? Yeah. <laughs> All have classical yeah. composers in the titles. Well done for the bonus. <laughs> and you get the last question of the round, the Horn Viper. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. See, if, uh, why is that? I've never heard of it. Okay, All right, um, next, please. Oh, is this how they were, um, like, how they were demolished? 
Lexi having this demolished egg pipe like designed, demolished, like rebuilt. Maybe, but do we know this or we? I don't know. I'm guessing. Um, should we go now? Uh, next, please. Ooh. Like that's one. oh, it's in a dome. That's that's in Sim Simpsons movie. A coffee case by a dome. Next, please. Oh. In some sort of kind of dome protective covering. They are all yeah. under domes. Cool. Very well done. H how many of the clues do you know? I know precisely one. The <laughs> Simpsons one. <laughs> do you know any of the other clues over there? The only one I would guess is Seahaven, maybe from um, that film with Jim Carrey in it. What's it called? That's the one. Oh, of course it is. It's the, the Truman Show. The Truman Show, yeah. exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Chester's Mill, Stephen King. It's a Stephen King novel later made into a TV series. Uh, they're under a dome in that. And Midwich, you don't know? Mm. The Midwich Cuckoos. Oh, this um, Wyndham? Maybe? Yes, John Wyndham, and yeah. it's an alien power puts them all under a dome. Mm. Yeah. We mentioned Stockholm earlier. Mm -hmm. What interesting dome is there? The turning torso, isn't there? It's the world's largest hemispherical building. Wow. What's it called? Stockholm Dome. Stock Dome. Yeah. <laughs> it, well, it's now, it's now called the Avicii Arena. It was the Ericsson Globe. Before that, it was the Stockholm Globe Arena. But the people of Stockholm simply Globen. <laughs> and that means at the end of round one, the Steelers have two points, the Discotheques have four. Time for round two, and Discotex, you'll be going first again. What would you like? Uh, we'll start with the Horned Viper, please. OK. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. One, one two, and five. Very right done, is that one comma? Next, please. So, season is in group one, it's the fourth. No, but radon is. So, radon, R A, season in C S, R A. I've been the letters as oh, well. It's the letters. So something that is um, one comma two helium would be a correct answer. There's actually quite a few correct answers. Let's have a look at clue three. What's going on here? So the numbers refer to the letters in the word. So for example, with cesium. Uh, letters 1 and 4, C, S, make up the chemical symbol in the periodic table. That's exactly right. We've got lithium because L, I would be the code, and uh, helium, H, E. Very well done. Steelers, what would you like? The twisted flax, please. Twisted flax. This is going to be a picture sequence. Have a go at describing what you'd expect to see in the fourth picture. Here's the first. Do we know the logo's up? No. 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 Next, please. <laughs> I was going to say nautical flags, but I don't think that's the right colours. Blue, blue. Oh, oh, oh this all these things. Buy your black grape. Um, so, black. So we're going along. Yeah. Mm. So it's the middle, isn't it? So we've got blue, black, and then what's the third one? Buy your black. Oh, next, please. So would it be winter week as well? So it's going to be um, the overlapping rings from the uh, green and red. Green and red yes, intersecting rings seen, is the right amazing. answer. And what's the sequence? So it's um, the Olympic rings is the inter the interlocking bits of it. Well, there are five Olympic rings, yeah. so there are four intersections, and the last will be red and green. Well done. Back to you, Discotex. What would you like? Uh, we'll try the two reads this time, please. Two reads. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. The story of tonight. Next, please. My shot. Anagram? No. Next, please. Anversa. My shot. Anversa. Tonight, my shot, Aaron Burson. Can you see anything? I haven't got anything on them. I'm <laughs> trying to make anagrams, but I don't know. Uh, night, hot, my shot. I've got absolutely nothing, which I guess. Try Grace Jones. Pull up to the bumper by Grace Jones. <laughs> and why would that be? It's just the answer to every question we ever ask. <laughs> oh, good. I like that sort of uh, answer. Not in this case, unfortunately. Uh, Steelers, do you want to have to go for a bonus point? Alexander Hamilton. Is the right answer. And what's this sequence? Uh, the first four songs from the very overrated musical Hamilton. I <laughs> beg your pardon. <laughs> they are the first four songs 
going backwards from, as you say, the great <laughs> musical <laughs> Hamilton. I what do you think is wrong with Hamilton? I just mentally checked out in the second act when they turned cabinet meetings into rap battles, and I was like, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. You see, I don't know what you want out <laughs> of a creative endeavour if it isn't turning cabinet meetings into rap. I mean, were you, were you hoping when you went along there that it would just be cabinet meetings? We'll just watch those play out? <laughs> yeah, you know, the points of information. More, uh, yeah, but less cringe at the very least. I, I really think it's great. And, uh, you know, it didn't start as a musical. It started as a concept album. Yeah. Lin-Manuel Miranda had this idea like Evita was a concept album. Mm. And uh, he wrote Alexander Hamilton, and he didn't write uh, the next song, which was actually my shot, because they weren't written in this order for, for another year. Have any of you seen Hamilton over there? No. That'll explain why you didn't get the question. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're missing a treat. So you get the bonus stealers and your own question. What would you like? Uh, the lion, please. Lion. OK. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Um, that's in Bristol. Ooh. Uh, I don't know why okay. it's why Well, let's, let's go next. Next, please. Oh, are we going like... Got, um, something to do with the uh, coastal towns. I don't know. Yeah, going along more. Um, Maybe it's going to be like... If, if Aiden Mouth is in Bristol. It's in yeah, the next one. Bristol, I'm not to be sure. OK, we need another. Uh, next, please. Dove. Are these ports? Are these... Oh, the busiest port is Felix. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. Let's try that. Yeah. It, for, for free it is. Yeah. Let's just try that. One Felix Stone. Not the answer, I'm afraid. Sorry. So your chance for bonus now, Discotex. We'll try one Southampton. Not it. Yeah. This kind of question is meat and drink to this quiz. It's A Rhodes. Oh. We're going backwards. A4 goes to A from Mouth. A3 to Portsmouth. A2 to Dover. We want to hear A1. Newcastle or goes to Newcastle? Edinburgh. 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 Edinburgh is the right answer. You've got to revise your rows, your service stations. <laughs> you know, we're obsessed with that kind of thing. So, no points there. Discotex, what would you like? Uh, we'll try the water, please. Water. OK. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. One to five away. Seven points. If you're between one and five away from it, you get seven points. Is this in dance, maybe? Next, please. If it's ten away, five points. So ten to twenty away, two points or three points? What do you think it could be? Well, no, no points, maybe. I'm, I don't know what it's from. So, so uh, ten points. Yeah, so should we say eleven points? So, point. Should we just try it? Yeah, sure. Um... 11 and over away, zero points. Is the right answer. Thank very you. well done. Do you know why that is? Absolutely no, no idea. <laughs> really not? No. Oh, well, that's a very good guess. Do you know over there? No, we thought we were going to do with um, connecting walls at first, but no. Uh, no, I'm afraid a much lesser endeavour. It's the countdown numbers game. Not that I'm not a fan of countdown. Oh, but yeah, uh, of if you get the number exactly right, if you do the maths right, so it's exact, you get 10 points. Mm. If you're between one and five away, you get seven points and so on. But if you can't get uh, closer than 11, no points. Oh. Although, confusingly, you get two points for no points. Jolly good. <laughs> <laughs> Steelers, one question remains. The Eye of Horus. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. No. It sounds like alphabetical list of countries. That's plausible, but it's yeah, yeah, next, please. The first Mexican. Fine. Right. Oh. Um, I can't see what I should have another one because yeah, I think two uh, Next, please. The second South Korean. <clears throat> What's this going to be? Come on. Mexican. <laughs> uh, walls. Um, parallels on parallels. It's not anything else. Um, um, 93rd. What could be 93rd? 93rd. What? It could it be in 1999? 93rd... 93rd New Zealander. Not it, I'm afraid. Discotex, do you know? 93rd Australian. Not it. You're both too antipodean. It is 93rd Chinese. Does that help? No. Is it parallels or the nope. inverse of those? Nope. Think, no. Nope. Don't know then. It's best director at the oh, Oscars. For the love of... At I the 90th Oscars ceremony, the best director Oscar went to Guillermo del Toro for The Shape of Water, yeah. Mexican director. Next Mexican Alfonso again in 91st, Cuaron. Alfonso Cuaron. 92nd Oscars, yeah. best director won. Uh, that was Bong Joon Ho. Exactly. So, South Korean director and 93rd Oscars.
Chloe Zhao, the Chinese director. It's a sequence of directors. That means at the end of round two, the Steelers have five points, the Discotheques have nine. It's time for the connecting wall, and Steelers, you'll be going first, so please choose lion or water. Lion, please. OK, two and a half minutes to solve the lion wall, starting now. Uh, okay. yeah, haggard, gaunt, they're all kind of like... Yeah. Like, um, and worn, and they, yeah. they all mean the same pallid thing. Pallid as well. And, and what, sorry? Pallid. Pallid, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, There's another one there. What's the other one? Wan. Wan, right? Yeah, yeah. Penny okay, so, I've mi so I'll miss out Wan. Okay. Miss out Gaunt. Um, That'll be John off, possibly. We've got, we've got um, surnames. We've got yeah. Sharon Horgan. We've got Mindy Kaling. These are surnames of. Oh, yes, for a female. Um, Michelle, Michaela Cole. Horgan, Kaling, uh, Faye, Tina Faye, but that might be a red herring, I think. Well, we've still got lives there, haven't we? So, yeah, that's fine. Um, oh, we've got generals. General Grievous, General Zod. General Stockwell. General Stockwell, maybe. <laughs> um, uh, who Scott. could the other. There's. Um, man? Is Man one? Possibly um, Stockwell. Catherine Stockwell, is that someone? Yeah. Let's try something for those. So, myself, um, Faye. What else have we got? We've got Grey. Like card. Out. Calling oh, card. Oh, business card. Business card. Uh, brain power. Okay. Manpower. Um, brain, brain power, manpower. That feels like a thing. God, oh, I don't know about card power. The Aladdin. What is Aladdin? Um, Mastercard. Um, Mastercard. Mastercard. Yeah, Mastercard. Have we got anything else? Credit man. Is credit mother, man mother, thing? Mother, mother brain. Uh, brain. Credit man. Um, um, Haggard. What? So Haggard begins with Hag. What else? Because that, that was a red herring, so that's going to be in something else. Um, so what else have we got? Um, any ac um, acronyms? Like, is Aladdin one? Have we tried that? I know it's too many, but we're running out of time. Yep. Um, uh, Kaylin Cole. Is Horgan a, ca a general? General Horgan. Um, general Haggard. Uh, captains. We've got captains here. Um, yes. OK. Um, we've got... What else we got? What, begin and end, we have to... Carly is a god, does that help? Um, We've um, got 30 seconds. Right. OK, should we just try four more surnames? We've done Cole, Faye, Kaling and Horgan. We didn't have Haggard in anything. No. Um, no, OK. Um, man, I can't. Man. Isle of Man, any other eyes? No, I don't think so. Um, and Faye? Or Cole? Coal is a, it sounds like coal, but nothing else. Um. And that's your third go, and the wall has frozen. But you found two groups. Can you tell me the connections? Gaunt, pallid, and so on. They all mean the same thing. It's like like too thin or something like that. Can I mean, you think of another word? I can't actually think of another word. Haggard would be a good other word. They all haggard. Mean haggard. <laughs> <laughs> Often the red herring is a good other word. Yeah. All mean haggard. And the next group, Stockwell, Grievous, and so on. Generals. They are generals. General Stockwell, you didn't know from the A team. And General Aladdin, a fictional general, uh, he's played by Sasha Baron Cohen in The Dictator. Oh, right. And you can get points for the connections of the groups you didn't find. So let's resolve the wall. There we go. Haggard, mm. Organ, Kaling, Fay. Uh, those will be the comedians. Well, I'll take it. They are really writer performers. Daisy Haggard, Sharon Horgan, Mindy Kaling, Tina Fay. They're all sitcom-like programmes in which they're writer-performers. So I'll give you the point. I'm and the last group, point. man, card and so on. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to say power. <laughs> man, power, right. card, power, coal power. Of course, Michaela Famously. Cole, the red herring. Yeah. But uh, no, it's iac. You can make maniac, cardiac, Ooh. celiac and brainiac. <laughs> right, celiac. That's that one. But you found two groups and you gave me three connections. That is a total of five points. So let's bring in their opponents now, give them the other wall and see how they get on. Discotex is the water wall for you. You've got two and a half minutes, starting now. OK. Yellow what fever, see? yellow fever, uh, Sorry, cabin, cabin fever. fever. What was the other one, Will? Uh, Scarlet? Yellow. Saturday night. Saturday night. Okay. Uh, there's obviously night another fever. one. That's the one. So not Saturday night. Oh, there we go. Great. Um, hound, couple, Lady and the Tramp, Fox and the Hound, Something and Company, Beauty and Beast. Beauty and Beast, Beast yeah. Uh, Stitch, Lilo and Stitch. OK, so not Beast, not Hound, not Company, not Tramp. OK. Very good. Um, Into the Woods is Stephen Sondheim musical, so... Word one. Let's have a look, shall we? Ram. Ass. Tram, train, bus, 
Yeah. Plain and planetary. Plain. Okay, so Saturday Night Into the Woods Follies Passion. Do we think musicals? Yeah. Stephen Sondheim, possibly? Try. Uh, Should we go for it? Uh, yeah. I don't know that one, but yeah. Swift work. You've solved them all. Very well done. What about the connections? Night, cabin, and so on? These are fevers. They are all fevers, exactly so. And the next group, Beast, Stitch and so on. These are the last words in Disney films. Exactly so. Beauty and the Beast, Lilo and Stitch, Fox and the Hound, Oliver and Company. And the next group, Trainee, Tramp and so on. They all begin with modes of transport. Yes, they do. Train, tram, bus, plane at the beginning. And the last group, Saturday Night, Passion and so on. Musicals. Stephen Sondheim musicals. Stephen Sondheim musicals is the right answer. Very well done. That is the maximum of 10 points. Let's have a look at the overall scores as we go into the final round. The Steelers have 10 points. The Discotex have 19. Missing Val's time now. Fingers on buzzers teams. I can tell you that the first group of disguised clues are all people married five times. Discotex. Jane Collins. Of course. Steelers. George Foreman. Yes, it is. Steelers. The wife of Bath. Well done. Discotex. Sean Bean. Apparently so. Next category, famous three-part phrases in reverse order. I'll start you off. It's Song, Women and Wine. Next clue. Discotex. Charity, Hope and Faith. Well done. Discotex. The Ugly, the Bad and the Good. Yes, it is. Discotex. Conquered, Saw, Pain. I'm afraid that's not the phrase. You lose a point, Steelers. I conquered... I saw, I came. That's the well-known phrase. Next category, an easy one. French food and drink protected by Appellation d'Origine Controlée. Steelers. Roquefort cheese. Yes, it is. Steelers. Beaujolais wine. Indeed. Corsican honey oh, is that last one, but it's the end of the quiz and looking at the final scores. The winners and through to the next round with 22 points are the Discotex. Very well done. Well done. Steen, as you finish with 15, I'm afraid we're saying goodbye, but you've been a lovely team. You've got some great answers along the way. Thank you very much for playing. And that's the end of the show. But remember, if you'd like a signed photo of me on the Only Connect set with a personal handwritten message, then all you have to do is get psychological counselling. Good night.